welcome to our educational channel from class 9th maths the chapter 6 is simultaneous equations so in this chapter these are the topics i'll explain first let us see what is the linear equation or simultaneous equations how to define it then to solve this uh, linear equations to solve these simultaneous linear equations we have three methods so those three methods i'll explain one by one clearly simultaneous solving these equations by elimination by substitution method again eliminating by equating the coefficients so one is the elimination method and substitution method along with that we have the simple and easy one uh, cross multiplication method again whenever the equations based on those equations how to reducible to make into linear equations this is also important and along with those uh, methods we are supposed to solve problems based on the simultaneous equations in this chapter itself so including the word problems also we have to do in this right when you come to this equation so whenever you see the word equation there should be equal symbol equal sign and linear equation let us take one general form ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 here is a b c are the number cities in this place so a b c these three only you can take the constants or constants and x comma y or variables right so these two are the variable let us take one example 2x plus 3y plus 6 is equal to 0 2 3 6 are the constants x and y are the variables and these variables must have the degree 1 you should write only x to the power 1 1 it is a, it is a power is 2 is a quadratic equation right only this entire chapter based on only this linear equations to solving two linear equations to solving the two linear equations simultaneously one by one or together so you can use this word simultaneous equations let us take even if you take 3x is equals to 5 so in this direct you can get the answer x is equals to 5 divided by 3 only one linear equation one linear equations we have infinite solutions two linear equations together we have the only single solution to find out the common solution for the both equations the simultaneous equations we have the three methods elimination uh, substitution elimination and cross multiplication same eliminating the term by substituting method again equating coefficients these two we can use these are all the methods one by one and important we will start the word problems also in these simultaneous equations let us start with method of elimination by substitution method of elimination by substitution in the simultaneous equations so to solve the values to find out the solution we have two methods in elimination so one is substitution and one is the equating coefficients so let us start the how to substitute to find this answer in this method of elimination let us take one example in question first solve the following system of uh, linear equations or system of simultaneous equations x plus y is equal to 7 3x minus 2y is equal to 11 okay so using this these are the two equations we have to solve by substituting let us take the out of these two equations take one easy equation first substitution means this is the two variables x and y so from equation one any one equation you take then general which is the small numbers that you can take so x plus y is is equal to 7 x plus y is equal to 7 right from this you can find out one of the variable value either x or y so i am taking y then y is equal to in this x you can take right side 7 minus x so y is equal to 7 minus x now y value in terms of x it is now this value of the y in second equation in the place of y will substitute so you can use as a substitution method now from equation 2 from second equation second equation is 3x minus 2y is equals to 11 so 3x minus 2 as it is in the place of y instead of y the y value is 7 minus x you can replace instead of this letter y 
राइट सेवन माइनस एक्स तो सब्सट्रूट सॉरी सब्सट्रूशन मेथड इज इक्वल टू लेवन नाउ एंटायर वी गॉट ओनली सिंगल वेरिएबल इट केम इन टू सिंगल वेरिएबल टर्म्स सो यू कैन सिंप्लीफाई टू फाइंड आउट एक्स फर्स्ट थ्री एक्स माइनस टू इंटू सेवन माइनस फोर्टीन माइनस टू इंटू माइनस एक्स प्लस टू एक्स इज इक्वल टू लेवन थ्री एक्स प्लस टू एक्स यू कैन एड द सेम वेरिएबल टर्म्स थ्री एक्स प्लस टू एक्स इज फाइव एक्स माइनस फोर्टीन इफ यू टेक राइट इलेवन ऑल डेज दे राइट साइड प्लस फोर्टीन सो फाइव एक्स इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फाइव देन एक्स इज ट्वेंटी फाइव बाई फाइव सो फाइव एक्स वैल्यू गॉट द फाइव नाउ देन वन सी गेट एक्स वैल्यू अगेन एक्स वैल्यू सब स्टूट इन दिस ऑल वाई इज इक्वल टू सेवन माइनस एक्स यू गॉट इट सो देन वाई इज इक्वल टू सेवन माइनस एक्स इज फाइव सो वाई इज इक्वल टू टू राइट सो वाई वैल्यू इज द टू एंड एक्स वैल्यू इज फाइव These two values will satisfy this equation. You can verify. X plus y is seven, so five plus two is seven. Again, three x minus two y, so three into five, fifteen. Minus two into y value is two, right? So two to the four, fifteen minus four is eleven. Those solution sets will satisfy these two equations. Let me take one more example. Um, solve the equations elimination by substitution method. Substitution method I am explaining first. Another example. Let me take some bigger values. Like equation x plus seven by five minus two x minus y divided by four is equals to five y minus five. This is one equation, and one more equation. Second one. So second is four x minus three divided by six plus Five y minus seven divided by two is equal to eighteen minus five x. Okay, so these two equations. So we have to solve using elimination by substitution. Right. Let us take one one. First, we will take one of the equation. We have to find out the value of the y. So let me take this uh, first one. X or y? Any one of the value you have to find out. Let me take this first one. X plus seven by five minus two x minus y by four. Do L or uh, LCM. That is twenty. And four into x plus seven minus five into two x minus y is equals to five y minus five as it is. With uh, four, you can multiply four x plus twenty eight minus ten x plus Five y is equal to twenty is denominator. Take right twenty is multiplying with this twenty into five y minus twenty into five. You can multiply this. Okay, this is the question. Sorry, three y small mistake. This is the three y minus five, not five three. Twenty into three. So this is the sixty y minus twenty into five is hundred. Simplify more. X terms. Four x minus ten x minus six x plus five y. Sixty take left. So minus sixty. So it's minus fifty five y. Because x terms y terms take one side. Minus hundred plus twenty eight take right side minus twenty eight. So minus one twenty eight. Can simplify more. Then from this six x take the Negative sign common both the sides. That means six x plus fifty five y is equals to one twenty eight. Take negative minus one is common. You can cancel minus. And from this six x is equals to one twenty eight minus fifty five y. Easy terms. So x is equals to one twenty eight minus fifty five y divided by six. So x y x value I got. Because y coefficient is 55, it's coming bigger number. Anything you can take. So I took x value is here. Now this x value should be replaced in the place of x in second question, second equation. In second equation, you have to substitute this. Simple. 4x minus 3, right? In the place of x, you have to substitute 128 minus 55y by 6. Let us do this one. So 4 into x. 
x is 128 minus 55 y by 6 that is x value again minus 3 whole divided by 6 as it is so only in the place of x this you did and one more next place plus 5y minus 7 by 2 is equals to 18 minus 5x 5 into again x value so 128 minus 55y by 6 you can simplify this value total so both sides you can simplify and you can do cancelling 6 4 and 6 right 2 and 3 Wherever is the possibilities you can simplify and get the final answer so 34 and by taking the common so I am not doing all the steps so after taking the simplification and LCM you get this step 34 128 minus 55 y divided by 6 plus 15 y is 132 after simplification in LHS RHS you will get this then more you can simplify 34 into 128, 34 into 55, 4,352 already multiplied minus again this into 55. So 1870y plus 90y divided by 6 is right 132 into 6 here 792. And then again y terms if we simplify, then finally y is equals to. 3560 by 1780 exactly 2 will get just you can subtract from this and take other side and simplify okay once you get y value again substitute in this so y is equals to 2 then start writing all the steps i just simplified y value got 2 now whenever you got the y value you can replace in this then x is equals to 128 minus 55 into 2 by 6 you can simplify this you'll get the 3 so x is equal to 3 and y is equals to 2 this is the whenever the big numbers simplify the equations first then again replace the values so next we will see same uh, elimination by equating the coefficients method of elimination by equating coefficients by equating the coefficients we can eliminate the one of the variable either x or y in this type of uh, method let us see the problem for example, solve using the method of elimination by equating coefficients. The two equations 3x minus 4y is equals to 10. Another equation 5x minus 3y and is equals to 24. If you notice here, x coefficient, x coefficient is 3 and y coefficient is minus 4. x coefficient is 5, y coefficient is minus 3. So they are not same now. X coefficient is 3 and here is 5. Not equal. So we should make equal first. If you observe this 3 and 5. 3 comma 5 LCM is 15. So to make this 3 must be 15. You should multiply equation 1 with 5. So entire equation we can multiply the 5. Each and every term. So value does not change. By multiplying or dividing the same term. Same number which all the terms the equation does not change same equation it is values only is increase so entire the first equation should multiply with 5 because 3 comma 5 lcm is 15 to make this x coefficient as 15 is supposed to multiply with 5 let us see now 5 into 3x okay 15x minus 5 4 sir 20y is equals to 5 into 10 50 now equation 2 we should multiply with 3 because equation 2 is 5x 5x into 3 is it is 15x minus 3 3 is a 9y and 3 into 24 72 right. now you can draw the line down then you can you have to eliminate by equating coefficients now 15x and 15x same terms with same sign so we have to go for subtraction to subtract you have to change the sign all the denom all the down number terms sign should change 15x is minus 15x, minus 9 is a plus 9y, plus 72 becomes minus 72. If already opposite sign, you can do addition directly. 
because of uh, same sign you want to do subtraction these two equations if you want to subtract 15x minus 15x cancel minus 20y plus 9y so minus 11y it is 50 minus 72 so minus 22 you can cancel the minus and y is equals to 22 by 11 so y is equals to 2 if you eliminate x we got y value is 2 now this y value you can substitute any one of the equation either 1 or 2 which is a small number so you can substitute directly by substituting y is equals to 2 in equation 1 any one of the equations you substitute you get the same answer so 3x minus 4y y value is 2 right is equals to 10 3x minus 8 is equals to 10 then 3x is 10 plus 8 18 x is equals to 18 divided by 3 then x is 6 x is 6 and y is equals to 2 so this is the method of elimination by equating coefficients let's take one more example and here is another example let me take two questions and solve using the method of elimination by equating the coefficients the equation is x plus y is equals to 3.3 and one more equation 0 0.6 divided by 3x minus 2y is equals to minus 1 so this denominator is non-zero now the first equation is in proper order x term y term is equal to constant so this is the in clear x plus y is equal to 3.3 it will be equation 1 second equation you have to make it general form x term y term and constant so 0 0.6 is equal to minus 1 into take right side 3x minus 2y that is minus 3x minus into minus plus 2y 0 0.6 negative 3x plus 2y is 0 0.6 so if you make multiply the minus both the sides then plus 3x minus 2y is minus 0 0.6 so that be equation 2 or else this we can write in any other order like 3x minus 2y is equals to minus 0 0.6 same equation 2 x term y term n is equal to constant if you observe x coefficient is 1 in this this is 3 so first equation you multiply with 3 now that is 3x plus 3y is equal to 3.3 into 3 so entire x cube you can simplify so it's a 9.9 .9. And second equation is asked is 3x minus 2y minus 0 0.6. Now you can subtract this because minus become plus it's plus. So here you can cancel this plus 3x minus 3x plus 3y plus 2y. So plus 5y 9.9 .9 plus 0 0.6. So 10.5. Then y is equals to 10.5 by 5, 2.1 y value is 2.1 y value is substitute in equation 1 so from first equation x plus y is 2.1 is equal to 3.3 .3. from this x is 3.3 .3 minus 2.1 so x value is uh, 1.2 right x is equals to 1.2 and y is uh, 2.1 given equations we make into general form first if any equation is like this x term y term is equal to constant then observe the coefficients you can by equating them if you already opposite sign just to do addition directly same sign plus 3x and plus 3x no? so i did subtraction to subtract you have to change the sign of the second equation terms okay so this is the way we can use next we go for one more method cross multiplication method in this method of cross multiplication okay to solve the simultaneous equations so this is one of the method the cross multiplication method let me show you this with the example first before that the general form of uh, linear equation a1 x plus b1 y plus c1 is equal to 0 this one equation and one more is a2 x plus b2 y plus c2 is equal to 0 Okay, x term, y term and constants are LHS side is equal to 0 is RHS. Now, if any two equations are in this format, to find out x value, we have 
the state formula b1 c2 minus b2 c1 that means b1 is y coefficient into c2 constant of the second equation but this is a formula b1 into c2 minus b2 c1 by a1 b2 minus a2 b1 this is x value and to find out the y y is c1 a2 minus c2 a1 by again same denominator like previous one so that is a1 b2 minus a2 b1 so to find out x and y you can use this formula so apart from this we have one more way same no need of uh, getting proof for this instead of finding the proof even if you are unable to remember this x value y value this formula we can use this uh, cross multiplication method in this way I will show you how to find out let us take one example first like 4x minus 7y plus 28 is equal to 0 and 7x minus 5y minus 9 is equal to 0 okay, these are the equations first step uh, all the three terms x term y term and constant should be LHS side only is equal to 0 must be RHS so a1 is 4 and b1 is minus 7 c1 is 28 and is a2 7 b2 minus 5 c2 is minus 9 we suppose substitute in this way formula to find out x and y but instead of that even if unable to remember this just you can use this method first we will write the b coefficients x coefficient y coefficient constant right first b coefficient because start with b1 x value so b coefficient is minus 7 you can write like this so minus 7 next constant 28 then again x coefficient so y coefficient first constant x coefficient again repeat the y coefficient minus 7 so minus 7 28 4 and minus 7 same way second equation also first y coefficient you remember so we have to start with this we have to start with y coefficient followed by this side again x coefficient and again this repeated so in this uh, next one 7 uh, minus 5 y coefficient first minus 5 minus 9 7 again this minus 5 should be repeated okay. this is the step first you know write like this so after writing uh, take the value x is in between first to 2 and y is in between and 1 is here this is a method to find out the solving the linear equations using cross multiplication method x y 1 you should write and this is x divided by y divided by and 1 divided by so you can write x divided by cross multiplication that means minus 7 into minus 9 you multiply minus 7 into minus 9 I'll write step by step so minus 7 into minus 9 this into this again these both M middle minus symbol first number into next number minus these two numbers that is minus 5 into 28 x keep is equal symbol again y divided by y divided by these both first all you know how to write this data right minus 7 28 4 and minus 7 this will take y coefficient constant x coefficient and again y coefficient same way down then x y 1 you should write x divided by this cross again y divided by 28 into 7 minus minus 9 into 4 this is the minus formula minus again so no need of remembering these formulas you can use this method is equals to again 1 divided by 1 is here 4 into minus 5 4 into minus 5 minus these both 7 into minus 7 okay so after writing just simplify you'll get the answers let us take this step x divided by simplify this minus 7 into minus 9 plus 63 and minus minus 5 into 28 minus 140 but here minus is there so plus 140 divided is equals to y divided by 28 into 7 so 196 
again minus in between there is a minus minus to minus plus 9 4 is a 36 is equals to 1 divided by calculation only should be careful 4 into minus 5 so minus 20 minus to minus plus 7 7 is a 49 simplify more x divided by 63 plus 140 203 is equals to y divided by 196 plus 36 to 32 is equals to 1 divided by minus 20 plus 49 is plus 29 right after simplification then first and last one x first term and last term you can take together that is x divided by 203 is equals to 1 divided by 29 y term and constant last term again y by 232 is equals to 1 by 29 simplify separately you will get the answer that's all you can go for cross multiplication 29x is equals to 203 then x is 203 by 29 so 29 times 7 so 7 so x is equal to 7 same way here 29 y is equal to 232 cross multiply then y is 232 divided by 29 so this is 8 times and so 8 so 8 you got x is equal to 7 and y is equal to 8 you can simplify x is equal to 7 is answer then y is equal to 8 any problem this uh, cross multiplication method this you can go so not necessary to remember this formula even if you apply formula also x is equal to this divided by this because constants are same first what are the equation is given making this format y coefficient constant x coefficient again y coefficient then x divided by 1 div y divided by 1 divided by just simplify finally you can take first and last one you can take x value second term is equal to third you can take you will get the y value so method is same any cross multiplication you can use in this method next any equations to reducible to linear equation and solving like uh, denominator figure variables those you will see now equations reducible to linear equations so is a word is reducible let me take example get idea for example solve the question is 7 by x plus 8 divided by y is equals to 2 and one more linear equation so 2 by x plus 13 divided by y is equals to 22 so denominators are variables we have so we should not solve this directly we need to convert this by taking some values like 7 by x we will write 7 into 1 by x in way 7 by x is nothing but 7 into 1 by x 8 by y is 8 into 1 by y right 8 into 1 by y is 8 by y is equals to 2 and this one is 2 by x so 2 into 1 by x 13 by y 13 into 1 by y is equals to 22 here you can take let 1 by x and 1 by y take some other variables like a b or u v any other variables I am taking that 1 by x is a and 1 by y is b. Then the equation will be changed like this 7 into 1 by x that means 7a plus 8 into 1 by y. 1 by y is b right. So 8b is equals to 2 and here is also 2 into 1 by x. So 2 into a plus 13b is equals to 22. Let us take these two are the equation 1 and 2. Instead of solving x and y directly, first these two equations you will solve by elimination method. Then after getting a, b values, if you substitute, you will get x values, x and y values. Okay. This is the method you can follow, this is reducible. Uh, let us continue same like previous uh, methods. First equation multiply with 2 because a coefficient is 7, a coefficient is 2 by equating coefficients I am doing. Again second co equation multiply with 7. Then entire equation 1 you multiply with 2 because same coefficient you will get that is uh, 7 into a into 2 that is 14a 14a plus a 2 is a 16b 2 to the 4 second equation multiply with 7 again 14a plus 
91B 22 into 7 so 154 same variable or uh, same coefficients now so you can go same sign you should do subtraction minus minus this minus change 14a minus 14a is cancel 16b minus 91b minus 75b 4 minus 154 so minus 150 cancel the minus then b is equals to 150 divided by 75 that b is equals to 2 b value got now just b value substitute any one of the equation either 1 or 2 mm, let us take b value no first equation from first equation 7a plus 8b b is 2 is 2 it is 7a plus 16 is equals to 2 then 7a is equals to 2 minus 16 so 7a is minus 14 a is minus 14 divided by 7 then a is equals to minus 2 finally we got a and b values but our required solution is in terms of x and y 1 by x is a so here is so 1 by x is equals to a that is but a is minus 2 if 1 by x is minus 2 then x is equals to minus 1 by 2 same way b is 1 by y so in the place of b take 1 by y is 2 if 1 by y is 2 then y is equals to 1 by 2 right so y value is 1 by 2 and x value is minus 1 by 2 so this is the equation so instead of finding directly here whenever the denominators we have the variables you can use this method right see one more example in case the question second one let me take one example yeah of the combination denominator like 30 divided by x minus y plus 44 divided by x plus y is 10 and 40 by x minus y plus 55 by x plus y is 13 we have to solve this so here is one x minus y and x plus y are denominators so let 1 by you can assume so 1 by x minus y is equals to a 1 by x plus y is equals to b so then directly you can take the question like this 30 by x minus y that means 30 into 1 by x minus y so 30 a right by simplification plus 44 b is equals to 10 that be equation 1 again 40a plus 55b is equals to 13 equation 2 so if you solve this you can get the a and b values so just to make equate the coefficients directly a coefficient is 30 and b coefficient is 40 not same equate the coefficient and solve so after solving you will get a value is 1 by 5 not solving everything same like previous method 30 and 40 find lcm and you can equate the coefficients and solve then b value is 1 by 11 will get after getting then a is actually 1 by x minus y that is 1 by x minus y is equals to 1 by 5 then x minus y is equals to 5 b value is 1 by x plus y is 1 by 11 then x plus y is equals to 11 these two we got so once you got again you can take the previous methods to find out x and y x minus y is 5 x plus y is 11 go for elimination method directly plus y minus y cancel 2x is 16 x is equal to 16 divided by 2 x is equal to 8 one of the equations substitute either here or here x plus y is 11 so 8 plus y is 11 then y is equal to 11 minus 8 is 3 x is 8 and y is 3 we get the answer directly right so this is the main step Whenever the denominators are same, assume some other variables apart from the question is in terms of x and y, take a, b. The question is in terms of a, b, take x, y or u, v. Any other variables you take and solve. After getting again, resubstitute in the place of a, b and you have to solve the original values. Okay, so this is the reducible equation to linear equation in solving. And next important, we will start the word problems based on this simultaneous equations. Problems based on simultaneous equations so let us see the word problems 
Every method one or two problems I'll explain so you can get an idea about all the concepts in these four problems. Let's start with easy ones. Here's a question. The sum of two numbers is 12 and their difference is to find the numbers. So the concept of this word problems is the given statement we have to convert into the notation mathematical format. So the question is about two numbers. So let the numbers be x and y. So which are the question they asked? You can take some variables. So let the numbers be be x and y. Then first sentence sum of two numbers is 12. Sum. S -E -M, no? So addition it is. So therefore x plus y is equals to 12. This is the first sentence meaning. And their difference is 2. So difference. So subtraction. So x minus y is equals to 2. Now these are the two linear equations. So these are the simultaneous equations. You have to solve by elimination method as we discussed the previous. So let us take this as equation 1 and 2. Coefficients are same x coefficient are y. So directly can write x plus y is equals to 12 x minus y is 2. By cancelling plus y minus y 2x is equals to 14 then x is equal to 7. One of the number is 7. And then another number x plus y is 12. So 7 plus y is equals to 12. Then y is 12 minus 7 and y is equals to 5. So important thing in this word problems if you can make the statement this is a statement can this um, notation format then like in linear equation format if you can convert then the solving same like a previous methods elimination method or cross multiplication anyone you can apply right let us see one more question so the numbers are 7 comma 5 now you can verify sum is 12 by adding these both and subtract is 2 another type of question okay so here is the sum now question is the ratio between two digit number and the number obtained on reversing its digit is 4 is to 7 two digit number so let tens and units two digit number no tens place and units place you should take so let the number be let number Whenever the question is about the digit, you can take the number 10x plus y. So y is a units place, x is in tens place. So numbers means 10 into tens place plus 1 into units place. So 10x plus y is the number. Should not take xy because in algebra xy means x into y. So 10x plus y is the number. And reverse means tens place is units place and units place is tens place. Then reverse number. Do reverse the number. Then that is 10y plus x. According to the condition, ratio between these two is 4 is to 7. Ratio between them. That means uh, 10x plus y divided by 10y plus x. The ratio is 4 is to 7. So 4 divided by 7. This is 1. If you simplify cross multiplication and simplify, you will get into linear equation. So 10x plus y into 7. That is... 70x plus 7y is equals to 40y plus 4x. Take all the terms one side, then 4x take inside. So 66x, 7 right side, 33y, 40 minus 7. If you simplify this, x term, 66x minus 33y is equal to 0. Take 33 common, then this become 2x minus y is equal to 0. So let be equation 1. And next difference between the digits. Difference between the digits is 3. So digits are x comma y, right? So therefore x minus y. Tens place is x and units place is y. So x minus y is 3. Equation 2. By solving this both. x minus y and x minus y is 3 here. Then here's a simplification both together. So you can take this. So they not mention exactly what is the bigger number. Only the difference between the digits is number 3. If the difference between the digits of the number is 3. So 2x minus y is equal to 0. 
x minus y is equal to 3 by changing the sign so it's minus plus minus cancel 2x minus x is x is minus 3 so it should not take the negative value so let me take x is positive that means you can take y minus x we got negative value right so you can take x is equal to plus 3 then if x is plus 3 you can get the y value x is 3 we got so 2 into 3 minus y is equal to 0 from this 6 minus y is equal to 0 then y is equal to 6 because x minus y took if i take y minus x is plus 3 if you take it get positive because not mentioned tens place or units place difference is 3 only difference they mention so 3 and 6 therefore 36 is the required number 36 6 in units place 3 is in tens place and next to question okay so see this one this is about the ages you can get clear idea this type here is the present age of a and b it's two numbers present age present ages of a and b are in the ratio 9 is to 4 7 years hence so after 7 years the ratio of their ages will be 5 is to 3 in this let present age of a is x and present age of the b y you take so let present present age of a is x years present age of b is let be y years then you can take the statement present age of the a and b is or ratio is 9 is to 4 Therefore, x divided by y is equals to 9 divided by 4. 4x is equals to 9y. Then 4x minus 9y is equal to 0. Let be equation 1. Right. Again, 7 years hence. After 7 years. So, after 7 years. 7 years hence. That means statement will be x plus 7 by y plus 7. Because present is x and y. After 7 years, their ages becomes x plus 7 and y plus 7. At that time, ratio is 5 is to 3. So, 5 by 3. You can do cross multiplication. 3x plus 21 is equal to 5y plus 7 pi is you know, 35. Then, 3x minus 5y is equal to 14. 21 take right side. So, equation 2. Then again, just normal method. 4x minus 9y is equal to 1. 3x minus 5y is equal to 14. Then on solving by elimination method, you will get x is equals to 18 and y is equals to 8. Elimination method I am not explaining already. Not explaining now. Already we discussed in previous topics. You can do. Main making equation is important in this whole problems. Then making coefficients are same. You can do elimination method to solve. Right. Again we have one more sum now see the methods then you can do any problems in this type okay so in this question sum of a two digit number and the number obtained on reversing the digits is 165 if the digits differ by 3 so sum of the two digit number so let 10x plus y is a number so 10's place is x units place is y this one number sum of so this one plus again units are digits are reversed so 10y plus x that is equals to 165 if you solve you get one equation and that is 10x plus x so 11x plus 11y is equals to 165 then take 11 common x plus y is equal to 165 then here is finally x plus y is equals to 165 by 11 so 1 5 so 15 that be equation 1 right. again always one more statement will become one more equation here if the digits differ by 3 so x minus y difference no x minus y is equal to 3 or both statements y minus x is also 3 in case if you get the negative you can take the positive value so by solving x plus y is 15 and x minus y is 3 if you take here x plus y is 15 x minus y is equal to 3 taking and solving you get check you get positive or not plus y minus y cancel 2x is equals to 18 then x is equals to 9 
substituting 9 plus y is 15 then y is equal to 15 minus 9 so 6 9 and 6 so 10 x right 10 into 9 so 96 so the number is 96 they are asking find the number so number is 96 or even 69 also both are same 96 or 69 right this is the way we can solve the word problems by making equations and go for elimination method or substitution method according to the numbers to solve the problems. So those are watching the first time our channel just you can subscribe to it and follow the series in order to learn everything.